Hi, this is Ben. And this is Eric from PCM Marketing. Today we're going to show you how to record your Shure wireless microphones using Dante Networked Audio. We're going to be using Dante with For the Record recording software. This is a court reporting software. But you can use Dante Networking with any software that runs on your computer. So uh, let's get to it. The first thing you're going to need is our Microflex wireless access point. This access point uses an Ethernet port both to transmit audio over the network and for power, so it does require power over Ethernet. Next, you'll need one of our chargers loaded with some microphones, and you'll need a network switch. Any switch will do, but we're using the Shure AXT620 here, which has four ports that provide power over Ethernet and four additional ports for standard networking. Next, you'll need to download the Shure Web Device Discovery application from Shure.com. You'll also need to go to Audinate.com and download the Dante controller, as well as the Dante virtual sound card. Download and install these applications before proceeding. Now it's time to hook everything up. Power up your network switch and the charging station. Make sure that the connections are secure. Once that's done, connect the access point to your switch using one of the power over Ethernet ports. You'll also need to connect the charger so that you can get telemetry on charge status and battery life. Finally, connect your computer to the network so that you can both configure the devices and receive Dante audio. Now open the Shure Web Device Discovery application. The access point should be listed, and if you double-click it, a browser will open up. Once the configuration utility loads, enter in the default password of admin and hit log on. Now you should see the control screen. Click on Configure and verify that all of your IP settings are correct. You have to use the same subnet for all of your devices or they may not be able to communicate with each other. Also make sure that you've configured both your control port and the network audio port at the access point. Now you're going to associate the access point with the charger. Select your access point from the dropdown, followed by the charger from its dropdown. Now you're going to want to load up the charger with all of your microphones if you haven't done so already. Once they're all in their respective bays, in the software click on the link button next to the charger. Now you've associated all of these mics both with the access point and with the software. Now if you take the mics off of the charger and go to the monitor screen, you should see that they're connected and that there's audio. You can also configure gain and filter settings from this screen. Now open the Dante Virtual Sound Card. Make sure you've configured your sample rate at 48 kilohertz. And in the ACO control panel, if your software needs to run at 16-bit, set that option as well. Now you can turn on the Dante Virtual Sound Card. Now open the Dante controller. Using the plus signs, expand all of the devices so that you can see the connections. Now patch the transmitters of the access point to the receivers of your computer. That routes the audio. Now open your audio software. We're using For the Record, which is a court transcription program, but almost any software should be able to see the driver. Just go into the configuration, select your driver, it should say Dante Virtual Sound Card, and then you should see all eight channels available in the Dante driver. Now and for the record, you can see on the right-hand side of the display that we have audio passing through. And if you speak into any of the microphones, you should see levels come up on the software's audio meters. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned a lot. Make sure to check out Sure.com and PCMMarketing.com for more information. And you can sign up for our newsletter. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube where you can find more videos on how to hook up all your audio equipment.